Now, Jason, you mentioned the typhoon that hit the Tokyo area a few weeks ago. What can you say about typhoon season, so to speak? Are we at the height of it right now? And how is the activity this year comparing to prior years? Uh, yeah, we're in the peak part of the uh, hurricane uh, or typhoon season, I should say, in the West Pacific. It generally runs uh, from June to through September, October time period. Uh, right now, we were below average through July. I think we've gotten a little bit more active here in August. I, we're still, uh, we're probably closing in on normal, but a lot of the systems have been on the weaker side, um, especially, well, in it, the exception being Shan Shan here uh, did get to a major hurricanes uh, equivalent. Um, still no super typhoons though in the West Pacific, which is a little unusual um, for as compared to normal. What is a super typhoon? Uh, wind, sustained winds over 140 miles per hour. And how many super typhoons do we typically see in a year? Uh, generally about, maybe, uh, I think the average is around four, and we should have had at least one by now. Uh, and the closest we've gotten is, uh, I think we've had a couple get to category four. Wow. Normally, way more than what we've seen this year. What's the cause for this difference? A lot of it uh, has to do with some um, ocean water temperatures, uh, some cooler than normal ocean water temperatures in the central Pacific. Also, uh, some cooler waters in the uh, uh, northwest Pacific uh, as well, which has kind of shifted the main development area instead of being uh, maybe more towards Guam in that area. It's been pushed a little bit more westward. So it's been more favored. A lot of the development has been favored more towards the Philippine Sea uh, and a little bit farther north as well. Um, we've seen a lot of the development uh, probably north of north of the Philippines and 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 to the and to the west of Guam and the northern Mariana Islands. So that's that's a change from what we saw last year. Guam got hit a few times last year. They've yet to be been hit by a tropical system at this point so far this year. And so, I don't know if that's going to change uh, looking at the ocean temperature. I was just about to ask about those ocean temperatures because we hear so often, at least on the East Coast, about warming ocean temperatures. How rare is it within the context of the last five, six, seven years for ocean water to get cooler? Uh, we had that with La Nina last uh, last well, not last year the uh, previous few years there was a lot of cooling in the central and eastern Pacific because of the wind flow leaving leading to cooler ocean water temperatures due to upwelling. Um, that's kind of re that reversed last year and we had some warming with El Nino and now we're kind of trying to transition to La Nina uh, again. That's resulted in some cooling across the central neck. Equi the central and eastern equatorial Pacific, but we still have so a lot of warm water farther west. And I think that's part of the reason why we've seen a lot of development a little bit closer to um, Eastern Asia, uh, leading to a little bit more impacts because a lot of the really warm waters are Philippine Sea, South China Sea, East China Sea. Uh, so off of Eastern, off of Eastern China, off of the Philippines uh, and off of uh, Japan.